Hello YouTubers, today we're going to talk about doing a sump, uh, taking a sump off, resealing it on a Volkswagen Golf. Like I say, most cars are the same, maybe bolts in a different place, matter to remove more stuff than others in certain cars, but basically this is if your sump is leaking, you want to take it down, reseal it, put it back up to stop your oil coming out. So this is what we're going to do today. Let's get cracking on with it. Now, as you can see, this we're having leaky oil. It's not a big deal at the minute, but it's only going to get worse. Now, hopefully, you see them bolts. Now, this is a 1.4 petrol Volkswagen Golf. And what you have to be careful on is the Golf. There's two bolts in there, which are an absolute nightmare to get to. As you can see, they run all the way along down there. And obviously, at the back as well now this one you can actually take off without taking the exhaust off which is quite handy obviously the first thing we need to do is drain the oil but the most important thing these are a allen key head on them i'll try and get zoomed into one of them now that's all well and good when they're good if someone's used the wrong size allen key any time in its life then uh, they can be loose and they can round very easy. I'm using an allen key which is going to be put on a ratchet It just means you can get a lot more tightening on it. As you can see that is actually a bit loose. It's a 5mm allen key And they actually are 5mm so You have to be very careful with them to make sure you don't round them, especially the two that go in here There's one that goes all the way up there and one goes all the way up there and they are an absolute nightmare so we'll uh, get cracking with taking these off now I'm not going to film the taking down of all these bolts because there's no real point you can obviously see them really clearly I will however show you how we take down these two but obviously the first thing we need to do is take off the sump nut drain the oil before we go any further uh, good thing is just to make sure that uh, the oil the engine is warm and obviously we'll be replacing the oil with new oil there's no point in putting the old stuff back so make sure the engine's warm uh, that way all the crap of the oil will come out and it'll be, it'll be a lot thinner Another quick tip is if you hold the, the ratchet and whatever you're using and push away from yourself rather than pushing this way to try and loosen it, push away from yourself. Make sure it's tight. You can hold your hand, you can even, you don't really need that. The shorter the bar, the better it is. So what you can actually do is just have it like that. The shorter the bar, the better it is. But as you're loose, as you're loosening it, don't loosen it this way even though towards yourself loosen it away from yourself like that it's easy to control and it's easy to handle so loosen it away from you and as you'll see once the bolts start coming loose it'll come out now the next problem we have on the next bolt it's all actually also it's also handy to keep all these bolts together I happen to have a little magnetic tray put them on the magnetic tray it saves you losing them now the next problem we have this next bolt has been slightly rounded so this doesn't go into it as easy now we have to be careful this bolt could round so the easiest thing to do is just get a hammer be very careful with this hold the allen key and just tap very gently just to make sure the allen key is all the way home and same again hold hold it and push away from you and hopefully this will come off and as we can see that one's damaged so we have another little trick to show you with that now what I've done here I've actually got a that's an allen key 
It's a five mil Allen key and obviously now that bolt's damaged so this won't work. I've got a spline. So as you can see that's splined and that's an Allen key. This happens to be an M5. It's just slightly bigger than the hole. So what I'm going to do is with a hammer, this is not great to do but it's it's one of the easiest ways to get the bolt out and then you, then you can replace it once it's out. So put it up, make sure it's nice and straight and get a hammer and just it doesn't take too much to get it in and hopefully now this should turn that bolt out and once it's out we can replace it again hold it straight you don't want to make that bar bent and then now as you can see we've got it out Now it's out and you can replace that bolt, now it's out. There is other ways of doing it, but that I find is the quickest, easiest way of getting it out. Now, what we've been using so far is a 3 8 ratchet with an Allen key, a 5 mil Allen key and the attachment for the Allen key. That's great when you can get to it. These two bolts that are inside here, as you can see, this physically won't get up to it. And believe it or not, you're not gonna be able to see it I'll try and zoom in, but I don't think we're going to be able to see it. I really don't. Inside there, you're not going to be able to see it, but inside there, you get another torch on, is two bolts and they're a slight angle. Oh, can we see inside there now, maybe? There we're looking. Now, again, you can't see. But basically, inside there, oh, you just see the head of it there now. Inside there is two bolts and they're at a slight angle and they're a nightmare because you can't get to it dead straight and of course if you don't get to it dead straight you're going to damage it, they're at an angle like this so what we're using for that, we're using a quarter inch ratchet and as you can see the difference in size there's a big difference in size so with this, with this being a lot thinner you can literally get up into there and tighten it but before you do a quick tip even though this has got a little clip but you can still use it lose it so get some tape and just tape it just so it's harder for it to fall off because if it falls off inside your gearbox it's going to be a nightmare to try and get it's possible but it's going to be a nightmare so let's just tighten that one and also do the same with this It just helps you losing it. And get that in as tight as best you can. Now that will help that not come out. If you do lose it inside the gearbox, with a little magnet, you can mostly get in there to take it out. But at least this way now we have a good chance we don't need to. Now, this is a nightmare. You have to feel around until you've got it on. Now, I'm on there now. If you just stand back here, you'll see the angle that's on. Now that's actually on it flat. That bolt, that, that, the Allen key is on it flat, but you can see the angle. So that's not, and now yeah, this is the, the real problem. This, you have Making to be really careful here now, because if this rounds, out. you're in trouble. So it's just a, a feeling game. You have to kind of just make sure you get it in. A few light taps with the hammer, and just be really careful. Because the problem is, with this not being a big ratchet, if it's been over tight or anything like that, you could be in trouble as well. Now, now if you lose the nuts, if the, if the nuts come off, don't particularly worry about that. Because once you take the sump off, you'll be, you'll be able to see the nuts. It's just if you lose the little Allen key without taking the other one off, that's when the problem really begins. And longer than you think as well. Now that's one, another one to go. Now it is in a fucking stupid place, <laughs> that, and there's two of them. So one more to go, again, let's see if we can get this one. Again, just in case of feeling around. 
We've got that pretty quickly, which is lucky. Few light taps with the hammer. And same thing again. Oh, that come out. No, I didn't get it. Oh, that felt too good to be true. Now, the best thing to do with this one, I'm going to put the extension on just to make it slightly longer for me. Slightly easier. This could take a few minutes. Now, hopefully, I found it. A bit of editing, a bit of swearing later, hopefully, I'm on it. Looking good. Nah, that's the second one. Now the good thing about this is, if these are damaged and you do manage to get them out, you can actually replace it with one of the ones you've took out because they all are the same size. So. You can see they're all the same size. So it's not a big deal to replace one of those and kind of either replace it or put one of the damaged ones where it's a lot easier to get on. So once you've, once you've removed all them bolts and these two bolts, there's just two bolts from the gearbox that hold, hold it on. So them two bolts there, we'll take them two bolts out there and there is a, there's a way of putting it back on because if you put these on and tighten these home and put the bolts back on, they're not going to line up. So we'll show you, but the best way to do is put all the bolts in by hand, just hand tight, and put these two bolts in hand tight. At least then everything's going to match up and then you can screw them all home, but we'll show you that. Right. See that? Can you see it? Now, with some bolts like this where you can't get, all that literally fits is the Allen key and you can't get anything else into it because the angle of it is too much. The best thing to do is get a spanner. Now this one happens to be a ratchet spanner. It just makes life a little bit easier. It's a 10 mil, you put it on and you can put it in. And with it being a ratchet spanner, you can literally ratchet it. So you can literally ratchet it. So what you need to do, put it on, make sure the ratchet spanner is the right way. Open the right which it is now, put it on, and what I do is, again you need to make sure it's definitely in, but I don't do that. So you want to make sure it's in, take two, right, and again keep your finger pressed up against it so it's nice and straight and then hopefully this turns, let's be careful. Now. And now once it's loose, you can just ratchet it. Makes life a lot easier. But once it's really loose, like that, you can literally just do it by hand. So that's another good tip to use. So basically, believe it or not, just to get this sump off, even though all the bolts are the same size, what we've actually used, 10 mil spanner, a 3 8 drive ratchet, a quarter inch ratchet. Now they've all got the same obviously end at the top, but do you know it's it's amazing. And obviously a slightly longer Allen, an Allen key, and a slightly smaller one to get into the trickier places. And there we go, another one off, just another four billion to go. <laughs> Now, once you've taken all the Allen key bolts off around there, there's about four million of them. Uh, there's two more bolts here, two 16 mil bolts. We're gonna use a half inch ratchet for this. Again, don't be tempted to use air guns or anything like that because this is only aluminium and you will round the threads very easy. So again, they shouldn't be that tight either. You know, even when you're putting them back on, you don't do them that tight.
because you can very easily round these in the casing. It's two of them. Now we're just ready to crack the sump now. Now the next important thing is when you're taking off the sump, because obviously now the seal is on it, so that sump is still quite stuck to it. Do not use a screwdriver and hammer a screwdriver in between there because you're going to damage either the sump or you're going to damage the engine, but you're going to leave a little nick in it, which means it's going to leak. You can get like a lever bar, it's just a little lever bar, and there's special points on the sump. That lever bar will go in there. There's also another one around there, and I believe there's some more around the back. But hopefully we only need one. So you literally put it in there and lever up. And as you can see, that is levering against this part of the engine, which has nothing to do with anything. There's no ceiling. So, it might be a bit stiff, but it will come now. Can you see that? Maybe we just try it a bit there. Can you twist this by hand? Now. Now there's another one here. And what you can actually do is put it in and twist, twist it with your hand. So, like that. Now. Now. There we go. Simple as that. Now you can see the lovely bottom of your engine. And just angle this, and that comes away from the gearbox. Mind the oil. Now, you can twist that, and that's coming out. Might be a little bit of oil left in it, but now, well, we'll show you what to do now. Now, I'm gonna film this in two parts because it's taking forever to upload, and it might be kind of boring in one part. So this is a sump off, and we're gonna show you how to put it back on. It's basically just the same, but obviously reverse, but we'll show you that in part two. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll catch you for the next one.